Everybody just calm down. Now, I know you're worried. But we have everybody looking for him, and we are going to find this boy. Arthur, have you seen the boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. Must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I killed everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know. We are getting him back, and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. But if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming.
Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let them fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Jack's not down here. Let's go check upstairs.
Where's the boy? Well, we have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dad. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> it's 
gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Follow me. I know the way. It's gonna be all right, John. I should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. 
We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Mosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. Yeah, <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. All right. Just down this path to the left here. So, what were you talking about before? Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. That's it up ahead. More walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Oh, shit! Get Boys! Just oh. some here. I can see that! You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. You can still walk out of here! Where are you creeps, hiding? Come out where I can shoot you! Come on! Oh, I'm gonna be real happy to shut you up! You fools! 
should have left when you had the chance. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some of the coward. Like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. to escape. I was letting them go. Too late now. Can't wait to ah! That's how you want to do it? How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Everything all right up there? Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. <clears throat> Follow me. This way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. <sighs> okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right. See you soon. We got fine living. Nor the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes. 
Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. There, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloon. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families, losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just... I don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Whoa. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Lots of horses to choose from. <laughs> it sure is fast, but it can be a little bit jumpy for some.
You must be a connoisseur. Thanks for your assistance. Problem here? Look out! What you all fucked up for? I'll get you all right.
Hello, sir. Welcome to Horner and Co. Got some local cheddar, if you're interested. Mighty fine. Sure, I'll take a look. Thank you. Really. Hey there. Uh, Let me know if you need some help. It has not been a good week. Hey there, the friend. The How people. can I help you? You must be kidding me. Meat in town sold right here. Find out. Sorry about that. Welcome, sir. Come in and have a browse. Take a look at our catalog. Let me know if you want to get a feel for any of the... No problem. You come back to it any time. Thanks, mister. That's how a lawman solves a problem. Can't get a lick on it. What the hell happened? Just let the law handle this. Don't worry. You just go around beating the tar out of anyone you please? 
You really want to mess with me? Ah, uh, just got hated, that's all. Think twice before you trouble me again. Bonsoir, monsieur. for a man called Bronte. Have you heard of him? Don't know who you're talking about. Okay, never mind. Hey, friend, I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Steel Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself, he's got quite the reputation. That's no good. Relax! No! 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 Please, no! Don't hang around here. Partner? Need to hide your face, do you? Take it easy, it's fine. You know, I can't imagine you have a lot of friends. Hey, that ain't called for. You're goddamn annoying. What's the problem here? You know, I'm tempted to give you a beating. Leave me alone! Hey. Last Ladies, I checked, there weren't no cars out. for wearing masks around Lo que tú here. Diga. I'm gonna see what the law thinks of this. ¿Qué pretendes con esa actitud? Stop harassing hey. folks like that. Stop there a minute, we. You're <clears throat> I'm getting angry now. Why are you doing this? Are you gonna keep your mouth shut? I'll take that as a yes. I'm making a fuss. I'll have your money, too. Okay, all right. It's all yours. Oh, God! my money it's only temporary this will all be sorted out soon I promise hey the whole saloons overrun with rats I'm losing business left and right I need to get someone to get rid of them for me I'll pay very well I just need it all right calm down let me see what I can do oh thank God 
Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Hey, I'm not looking for trouble, stranger. Thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every cent. I killed worse. Hey, mister. Howdy, friend. Money now, mister. Last thing I had to my name. You kidding me? Go, you idiot. I'm tired of taking all this guff. Afraid to let folks see your face? Give me all your money. God damn, crazy ass. Shut up and do what I say. Take this, it's all I got. That's it, now go. I'm walking away here, just walking away. Oh, there, making me nervous. Come on. 
Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Mans for you. America's dirty little French seat. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they'd love <clears> to have. Excuse me. I'll get you in a second. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. So squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I guess. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, 
They're not to be trusted. Hey there. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. What nonsense. Don't take my word for it then. You lost, mister? You all right there? Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Lucky for him, he didn't have a ring on his finger. Shut up. You believe in your fairy tales. You got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. Ah, oh, God damn it. Couldn't even read the newspaper. Remember when they had to bring the mules back out after the snowstorm in 95? Couldn't get the ice off the trolley lines? Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? 
Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister. You better stop right now. Hey! to know why you're covered in blood. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Since when? Since when, sir? I, I read in the news. Morning. Oh, so it must be true. So Don't mind me. You just start calling him nipples. Daddy do the same thing. Facts. Joseph. Boo! You know oh, yes. <gasps> Morning to you, sir. That's right. All right. Get back here. Mm. Mm. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Ah, good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. 
Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. <laughs> 